everyone, it's Nana Foxy Mama 365. We're back again with another scoop of the Real Housewives of Potomac. Yay! Season five. Yay! I'm very excited to be back, you know, and I'm very excited to be doing Potomac. Uh, it for some time Bravo didn't have any like shows, but then obviously they were running the Real Housewives of New York and Beverly Hills which for me a lot of times i don't like the substance that they bring so i'm like mm, not really i love beverly hills but in the last this isn't seeming like okay it might actually give us something but any which way i'm just happy that potomac is back and yeah so we're gonna like just dive right in this is season five i'm very happy for the lady you know that they've gotten this far and yeah they seem to be doing well so hopefully this will be a great season we have a one new addition uh i think her name is um wendy yes osifo so we're looking forward to having her and let's see what she brings okay so let's go back in so of course we start off with some kind of rowdy argument with broken glass everywhere and ladies are trying to say what in the world is going on why have things changed so much that we're black women and we hold ourselves up to certain standards you know and how did we just tear this up you know apparently there must have been some fight when monique was dragging someone and they were saying let her go monique they, everybody says it's candy candy candace but we don't know yet for sure but let's see what happens so now we now go back to seven weeks earlier so monique is with three kids now she's got a lot doing she's got her beautiful baby chase he's so cute i don't even know who he looks like this time around but he's very adorable and then she also has got a parrot that she is potty training monique if you say yes that you're like that busy who has time to potty train a parrot like really any which ways chris is having none of it okay so monique is taking her parrot along with her to see karen which is kind of cool you know a bird on a leash okay right here but she has got a leash <laughs> any which ways the bird is getting potty trained which is kind of cool and so is her son as well so cool um so she gets to karen's house and karen's like what in the world girl bye okay but she's like you didn't even bring your baby you're bringing the <laughs> girl but anyway, they get to talking and Karen's in her new house, which is not about three minutes away from Monique, which is kind of cool. So yeah, Karen is back in Potomac, okay? <laughs> Just so you know, the house looks nice. It's kind of really cute. It's not that grand like her first house was, but the good thing is that she's back in Potomac, okay? So she's throwing Monique around and she, they get to sitting out and they get to tete a tete. And of course, we see the grand dame tell, tell Monique that things are not really working between her and um, her husband, Ray. Ray has been kind of, you know, keeping her back, probably because there's a 17 year gap between them in their marriage. So she says she's been doing a lot of business, trying to launch her, her, her perfume line and going out and stuff like that. And Ray's like, mm -mm, not really having any of it. He's at the stage where he wants to retire. Hmm. So pretty much Ray, I know, I know, I get it that when you get to that age of about 70 where you're just like, you know what, I can't even be bothered to like, listen, I just want to just lie in bed and with the remote control in my hand, and, you know, but Karen is now like she's 50 ish thereabouts and she's like, look, she still has some life in her. She does, but she's going to put some work into it. And I'm, I really hope that they, that they really can get to stay together and that really really supports his wife because usually when it's the flip side when it's the man the woman would always support you know whenever he's trying to progress in his career so i really would hope that ray would support his wife that's pretty much it anyways karen says she will fight for that marriage okay giselle she's in her new home as well she's moved in and it's looking nice it's turned out really nice you know and of course she gets it she has her three beautiful girls trying to help her move in and they're talking they're talking about they're trying to have a conversation with jamal brian who's their dad but it seems really off and it's like strange there's like a it's awkward that's what it is it's so awkward and it's like oh awkward so we're like why is it so awkward anyway she hangs up and she's like okay ladies what's going on why are you guys you know why don't you guys want to talk to your dad and they're like mm, yeah it's your thing quite frankly it's not our thing we're used to 
either we're with you or you guys just do you but yeah we don't really want to get involved quite frankly and they're saying and then someone say one of the late daughters say it's a fake relationship and i'm like oh i cut that yeah so i was like okay is she just doing this just to have a storyline because from the top you see all the ladies saying oh how's jamal what's going on with you and jamal jamal you know so i'm like is this just for a storyline or is this a true relationship but she says that's Giselle, of course. She said that a friend has said, who else is going to, you know, hold your hand and love your kids the way you do and all of that. You know, and she says, well, whatever it is, it's my relationship. We are the adults in it. You girls just have to, like, go with it. So the ladies are like, the daughters are like, okay. We just don't want you to get hurt. And they actually talk about the fact that he has actually, the, he had hurt their mom in the past. So they're really being protective of Giselle. We'll see. Candace is doing a wedding anniversary and she's trying to, you know, spend some money. And of course, once again, Chris is like, bitch or heifer, I ain't spending $22,000, okay? It's going to be an open bar. And of course, Candace is saying, once again, her mom is not involved, her mom is not helping, you know. But anyway, we'll see. They're going to have this one year, one year wedding anniversary. Still no baby in sight, which is cool. She's like, yeah, we're just doing us. I like that. Enjoy yourself. Life is like short. So yeah, because once the kids come, it's like, ugh. The romance it really dies off okay Ashley baby Dean is here she's like if one more person tells me this child looks like Michael off with their heads okay the child looks like Michael though <laughs> so she said no diaper I think she's trying to do all the healthy stuff you know do um, baby breast milk and um, healthy um, diapers and all of that but I think pretty much well if it works for her I'm happy for her so Giselle and Candace meet up and right off you see the mean girl come out from both of them it's almost like who can be the meaner girl okay and it goes from 0 to 60 real quick Candace says this is my girl you know she's a dessert queen they're trying to meet up and talk about what you know the dessert that Candace is gonna have at high event but right away it goes into oh well you know you would tear me down and um, you put you no know, you said that my house was a tear down and my cabin was a nine hundred thousand dollar cabin you know house for my daughter and i think giselle was really hurt about that and apparently when candace gets on twitter she just goes she becomes twitter finger and just goes crazy and says the craziest things on twitter so, but anyways but she also says in um candace's defense that giselle was laughing at her buying her house and giselle is saying girl you know you cannot afford a 2.5 million dollar house so what the hell are you talking about so it was just kind of like a key key between her and robin but anyway ways, giselle is hoping for an apology and well we're going to just make the choice of the cake oh the cake all oh, i'm craving for red velvet cake right now okay all right moving on <sighs> <sighs> Monique and Ashley meet up. Is this friendship real? I don't know. Somehow, well, let me just say, Monique and Ashley used to be cool. However, two seasons ago, Ashley came at Monique with regards to the fact that Monique got into an accident when she was driving after they had hung out. And Ashley kept on saying, oh, Monique, you were drunk. And Monique was like, girl, I wasn't drunk. I was just tired and exhausted and I fell asleep and I crashed my Porsche. Okay. However, I think Monique was kind of hurt because she really thought she was building a friendship with Ashley. And they were kind of like, you know, cool. So for Ashley to have come at her sideways that way, Monique felt really bad. And I totally understand it. But anyways, baby steps is what they're trying to take because they are pretty much hooked to the fact that both of them have babies and they're trying to, you know, like reconcile and they're kind of having the same kind of method of raising their kids. We'll see. Michael and Chris at the reunion, they take us to the flashback. Michael was really stunned at how Chris kind of handled him at the reunion and he's like, um, I really didn't know why Chris was coming for me and all and all that sausage comment and all that crap. Any which ways, he doesn't really care for Chris, okay? <laughs> and this Chris, of course, I'm talking about the Chris from Candace, that's Candace's husband, okay? Candace's anniversary party. Yes, the grand dame is here. So it's meant to be, I think they're doing silver or diamonds and and denim. So which is kind of nice, you know, which is, you know, two, one, one soft and one hard, well, whatever. But anyway, people are meant to show up in diamonds and denim. A few of the ladies do show up 
and then of course we get our introduction to Wendy Osifo who is uh, like the grand dam says she was not impressed when with her when they work together as like some kind of charity work Monique is there Giselle shows up and of course Giselle as usual is standoffish why Giselle always feels she needs to haze the in intake the new the new the new ladies that come in I, I don't know anyway they introduce Giselle to Wendy and Giselle in the off just goes like oh hi and she walks off which is a stark difference from Monique who is like oh I have a kid what how old are your kids oh all right oh I'm actually half Nigerian where are you from originally oh I'm Nigerian oh I'm 35 percent Nigerian you go Monique yeah you know and you see them at least making an effort to be friends you, it might not always turn out that we're friends but at least you, you you make an effort you know to actually get to know someone before you know any retreat candace pulls giselle out to the outside and he's like let's have a little tether tether about what happened at the last cake tasting you know event and they get to talking and Giselle is hoping for an apology and she says girl you were attacking me on Twitter and talking about my home and all of that and you're expecting me to give an apology what, what is this and of course Giselle and Candice is saying well you also attacked me I don't think they're going to get anywhere so there's not going to be any apology so let's just keep it pushing you guys might not be great friends but it is what it is okay so Candice thinks she's going to drag Giselle <laughs> Oh, Karen. Karen is like, girls, you guys just, you know, keep it together for now. No apologies coming up anytime soon. Sharissa is back. I really, really miss Sharissa. Yeah. I can't, last season, she didn't show up and I really miss her. Anyways, Monique don't mess with Sharissa, okay? She said there was some kind of rumor Sharissa started about her family and she really doesn't have time. She's just not going to give any energy to it, okay? And they're asking her, what was the rumor? And she's like, mm-hmm, mm-mm. -hmm. Not today. Next. <laughs> so every and Giselle is Robin comes in of Robin comes in with one. Robin had a conversation with one. That's right. I didn't get into that. In which you're talking about getting married. And I'm like, this is gonna be a storyline again. And you guys are still not married again. I mean I thought this season would have been the season for the wedding. But apparently yesterday she got into an interview with Bravo TV, the lead from Bravo, and she said, Well, apparently with the with what's going on right now, the COVID-19 situation, it's not looking like the, marriage, the wedding is going to happen this year. But we'll see. I wish them all the best. I really don't care about that storyline. But I'm happy that they are, you know, they've gotten their act back together, which is kind of neat. Okay. Now, back to this anniversary party. <laughs> Giselle wants to know why everybody is so bothered about Jamal and her business with Jamal. Okay. We want to know because we really like you and you hear the other lady saying mm, they don't really care they don't really believe it because previously from what was alleged okay it had been said that he had stepped out on her and not only that it was rumors about a baby you know it's one thing for a man to cheat it's another thing for him so this is really turning out to be more like love and hip-hop okay yeah this is really yeah this is really tiny which is if she loves it we like it we are here for it okay <laughs> So long as it's not just for a storyline, Giselle. So, whatever makes you happy. She's like, okay, where's the black Bill Gates, yeah? Where's big boy? Why is everybody so concerned about Jamal, okay? We'll see. The speeches! Hmm. Candice says her two best people, her mom, and the second best person is Karen, which is nice. But I think it's more like a motherly... It's cool. Uh, Karen gives a speech. She talks about her relationship and where she's at and how it's a lot of work. Which is kind of cool and then of course her mom comes to give a speech and her mom is like oh ooh. she's talking about uh we're so happy that you're able to make love to and everybody's like what what oh no everybody's like no this is not and she's talking about her having 35 years of marriage even though she had two husbands everybody's like what in the world anyways that's pretty much where it ends and ladies think her mom is crazy, okay? <laughs> it, it's looking like it's going to be a really, really good season. I'm, I'm here for it. Hopefully, the ladies can deliver. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Well, we're back. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to click that notification bell and like. Thanks for watching, guys. See you soon.